So gesso is a primer paint that artists use to prep their canvases. So that's what gesso is in the artistry world. When I bring it into the business world, in the case of startups, yeah. hello, my name is Gurjinder Singh, and I have recently started my own design studio. And the name of that is Gesso. And this is in part a vlog kind of a thing as I'm trying to build this design studio of my own. And also it's kind of going to be a series about documenting my journey as not a founder, not a principal, just as a designer that wants to help more clients on this scale. Rather than working at one place in-house, I found I would like to try this model and see where it takes me. I'm in January 2024 now. Uh, up until December of last year, I really had um, a lot of different ideas. And I think I've gone through maybe three or four different iterations of what my key service offering would be. Um, and I'll speak to that in one of these videos. Um, and that's coming very soon. But this first video is kind of an introduction. Um, and I'll tell you another reason why I'm making this. If you have done anything Webflow related, so Webflow is a no code web development platform that anyone can pick up and they can start creating websites on. Um, it's a, it takes a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, but they have a really great amount of resources and tutorials. So Webflow University is one of them. And for the longest time, uh, there was this one certain individual, his name is McGuire Brandon, which I learned his name very many years later. Like in those videos, I would just watch them and learn the Webflow part, but also be really, really entertained. Um, his education style was very comedic. And so a few years later then, um, I see on his Twitter that he is moving on from Webflow and he's starting something of his own. Until very recently, he started posting on YouTube, kind of a build in public series of videos. He's documenting kind of the day by day journey as he tries to create his own startup, something in education tech. I watched it really early this morning and that sparked a eureka moment in me that why not do this myself too? Why not, as he is building his own journey, why not I kind of document my own as well, but more so in the design studio part of things, more so in the creative services. So that's what I'm doing. Some of my mentors include people like Chris Doe, who you know off of the future and, and YouTube. Blair Enns is a big inspiration. He has a book called The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. Besides that, I like to learn a lot from some of the best design studios and design agencies out there. People like Pentagram, uh, Wolf Allens, Hutzpah is a great boutique studio based in LA, RA Motion. Um, other ones include Collins, Brian Collins and his agency. They've done things like Spotify and they are a big, big source of inspiration for me. So Gesso is a primer paint that artists use to prep their canvases. So that's what Gesso is in the artistry world, when I bring it into the business world, in the case of startups, they're always going to start off very grassroots, whether or not you have funding or not, right? It's not pretty. It's a lot of experimentation. You do something, you throw it out the window and you try something else. And it's kind of that, that iterative growth process. And then there comes a certain point when startups are ready to start scaling up start growing their service, start growing their team. And at that point, you have kind of a brand that is an amalgamation of all of the, the tests and experiments that you wanted to try. And it can turn into kind of a Frankenstein brand. And I've worked in-house and I was an in-house designer that kind of walked into what was already kind of a scattered brand. I fragmented that brand even more so in my kind of intern time there. And that was maybe about a year full of it. I tried a lot of different things, tried to have fun with it, tried to be spontaneous. But in the end, we were left with kind of a fragmented brand. But then there always comes a certain point when you have to start polishing things and build a set of systems and processes so that when your brand is kind of added into this growing machine, 
then it doesn't cause any bottlenecks. So Gesso helps you prepare your canvas, your startup for that next phase of scaling up, for that next phase of growth. And so that's why I named it Gesso. The reason for that name goes back to my roots. Back in high school, I discovered kind of a hidden talent or a hidden passion for the arts or painting specifically. If I call that back really to my childhood, then it was of watching Bob Ross painting tutorials on PBS um, that I think happened every evening or even every early morning before going off to school. And I turned that kind of into a design career. Uh, so I'm a self-taught designer. My degree is in marketing. Advertising and communications was that track uh, that I chose. And I've been involved in the world of branding, of design, graphic design, communication design, advertising, marketing. Um, I've also spent almost the past two years training in UX and product design because I wanted to grow that skill set and I wanted to maybe path a career forward within the UX space. But that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. And that's a story for kind of a later date. But I bring all of those skill sets together into who I am right now and into what Gesso is as a design studio and what I want to create here. So this series of videos is going to be two-part goal. It's kind of a selfish goal and a selfless goal. So the selfish motive here is for me to put myself out there, put my story out there so that the right people see me and they're kind of invited themselves. They, they come inbound, right? This is a way to warm up leads that I don't even know exist yet, and they'll reach out to me automatically. So that's the selfish part of it. The selfless part of it is trying to share a little bit of my experiences, documenting my journey. What am I doing? What am I doing every day? And I want to share a little bit of that so that you can learn from the things that I'm doing right. You can learn from the things that I'm doing wrong. Documenting it, like Gary Vee says, right? Don't create content, document your journey. And you already have boatloads of content that you can then share. I've introduced the name Gesso. I've introduced myself. And this was just the first kind of documented video in this journey. Uh, this is not day one, but this is day one of documenting like this. And this bit of vulnerability, this bit of humbleness is also a great way for me, again, going back to the selfishness, a way for me to be accountable for the goals that I've set the objectives that I've set, the tasks that I need to get done every week. So that's what I'll be doing throughout this series. So if you learn something from this journey and you find something interesting of, out of it, do let me know in the comments, like, and share this video. So with that, I thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Salute.